to get started, we're going to remove the gas tank so uh, you can see what I'm doing. There's the balance tube deal. It lays down here. It really makes getting the tank up a lot easier. So, I had a real slow leak in my gas tank. And after taking it off and cleaning up where all this brown stuff's been leaking, you can see, if you watch, it's just slowly leaking out. I don't know if you can just zoom in and see if you can see it. If I wipe it clean, you can see it's leaking right there. You see it get wet again. Looks like a real small stress crack. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to repair this without having to repaint your whole tank or using tank sealer. I don't like that stuff, it causes more trouble than it's worth. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair this by soldering your gas tank. And it's really easy and it works quite well. So, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is dump the fuel out of the gas tank into a five gallon bucket and there's a little bit of crap in the bottom of the tank, there always is, but this one looks pretty clean. There's a few particles in my fuel, but not too bad for an old gas tank. We'll just throw a cover on this and dispose of the fuel properly later. This is the equipment I'm using for this project. We gotta wire wheel this. Then I'm gonna just kind of try to get some of these corners I can't get with the wire wheel. Uh, then I'm gonna get some, this is just 420 emery paper, a small piece. I'm just gonna rough this up. see it but that's where it leaks now I got it roughed up I'm gonna take some acetone and a clean paper towel and clean this up real good you don't want any grease or dirt old paint or anything like that can see that these you can see that they solder some of their stuff too we'll sit and let that dry for a minute we'll prop up the tank for a rag now a lot of you're gonna ask do I have to wait till the tanks completely dry inside and the answer is no we're not getting it that hot and there's no open flame I'm using a a Weller soldering iron and first I'm going to put a little bit of uh, flux on this joint to help the solder flow. If you don't put flux on it, it's not going to work good. And I'm just using standard rosin core solder. You can use silver solder too. I'm going to heat up my soldering gun. And just start rubbing it 
and Ed and Sider. Now, be generous with your solder. You need it hot enough to work it in the crack. I want a nice puddle on there. That looks like a pretty good repair. We'll let that cool for a minute. Then we'll put some fuel back in the tank and see if it still leaks. I'm cleaning some of the excess uh, acid or some of the soldering flux off with acetone because I don't want the flux to be blocking a leak if it still leaks. But that soldering joint looks pretty darn good. And we'll have to test it with some fuel. Test it. Shake it up a little bit so it builds a little pressure in the tank. We're just gonna hold it here for a minute and see if it leaks. You see the weld job right there? We got fuel on it. This looks like it's holding. We'll go set it on the bike and uh, see how it uh, holds up. But it looks like I fixed it. That was pretty easy. Now I'll just take some touch up paint and cover that up so it doesn't rust and it'll be good as new. Now we got the tank back on. Let's fire it up and see how well it idles. Leave a comment below, like it, share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.